Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Ace and Ninja here today, my dudes, for a brand new episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Let's Play. Nailed it, first try. So, <laughs> as you guys just saw, we did a little bit of grinding between episodes. Uh, Kakuna and Metapod both evolved. Uh, during the, the tiny little bit of grinding. Grinding is kind of weird in this game. I'm not sure if I'd even consider it grinding. Just catching a whole butt ton of Pokemon. Um, but yeah, so we caught um, a whole lot of Pokemon uh, over, you know, and, and, and grinded up a little bit. I'm going to actually just go ahead and release these a little bit while I'm talking here. Um, but yeah, so we did a lot of, a lot of stuff between episodes here. Uh, caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Trying to get some levels up. Everybody's level 10. I think we're Health, health candy and quick candy. Hmm. Um, so I think we're ready to take on the gym uh, in today's episode. So that's exciting. So hopefully if you guys are excited, you guys will drop a like for me down below because it really does help out a lot. Uh, subscribe if you're new on here and share this video with a friend and all that kind of stuff. Let's get started. Um, well, I guess I kind of already started. But anyway, I'm kind of curious of what these do. A candy that is packed with energy when given to a Pokemon it will increase that Pokemon's speed stat. That sounds useful. That's actually super nice. That's actually super duper nice. Just giving some of these guys uh, that are actually going to be useful two of these. And I'm guessing a health candy would do kind of the same thing, right? Yes. Uh, increase that Pokemon's HP. So we know yellow is probably going to be on the team for more or less the entire Let's Play. Nidoran is probably going to be here for a while, at least. Um, Oddish, I'm not sure about. Great up one Spideff stat. We'll give that to Oddish. Oddish, I think, is our most, our most Spideffy Pokemon. And special attack, we'll give that to yellow. Because he is a special attacker. So, um, I, there, are two, there are multiple things we want to do today. Uh, obviously, we're taking on the gym. But I also am super duper curious as to what the um, the lure does, which I have like an idea, and I'm, you know I'm I'm pretty sure I know what it's gonna do and what what results it's gonna yield. But I want to check it out anyway and go down here and check out uh, on this route and see if there's anything like interesting. If we're here in Viridian Forest, we could potentially scoop up with the lure. I don't know how many lures we get. We can probably we'll probably be able to purchase them at some point. I would I would think. But um let's see what happens here with the lure. Okay. That's a Kakuna. There's a small Pikachu. No, that's a large Pikachu, right? I think that's the only way we get Raichu is if we catch Pikachu, by the way. <sighs> I didn't want to encounter you, Pidgey. Go away. I did want to do this. Run away. I mean, we could try to catch that Pikachu. Just kind of for the hell of it, you know? Metapods. A tiny Caterpie. Another Pikachu, Metapod. I want to find a Bulbasaur. Truthfully, that's what I'm looking for. It's a Bulbasaur. Tiny Academy or Shiny. Any of those things would happen. Any, if any of those things happened, I'd be down. Lose effect wore off. Darn it, dude! Come on, no Bulbasaurs for me. For me? You're kidding, right? All that work for nothing? We don't need Metapod. All that work for nothing? We used up the lure and didn't even get the Pokemon we came here for? We didn't even see anything rare! I mean, I guess Pikachu is probably a rare encounter, but we saw Pikachu just regularly when we came through the first time, so... It was nothing special. How disappointing. That was very disappointing. Hmm. It's a sad day. Sad day. Look at Geo, dude. Alright, let's see what these marts even have to offer. Um, 
Probably Pokeballs. Yeah, we got plenty of Pokeballs though. Let's get some. Let's get some potions, some Podions, some nice and Podions. Let's get four. I'm good four. That's probably enough. Um, my inner Nuzlocker wants to go ahead and just get some of these. Honestly, um, even though I don't think we're gonna need any of them right now, it's always better to need them and not have them. It's always better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them. That's how that goes. All right. So we're just gonna purchase some of these, just cause we got the monies, we got the moolahs, we got the cashola. We're good. Honestly, these Pokemarts look so good though. Like, can these look like this? Are these gonna look like this for the rest of time? Cause I'd be totally okay with that. Totally okay with that. Come on, Nidoran, let's go. This game is so much fun. I love it so much. Dude! Same though, Gio, dude. I have feels. I have feels. Yes. That's so cute. Found something in the plants. A nab berry. Is it? Is it? It's a na. It's a na na berry, right? Na nab berry. Not a nab berry. It's a na na berry. Hello, kid. It's fifty bucks to get in here. Fine. Here, take my money. Yo, look at that Aerodactyl. Wow, an ancient Pokemon. Oh, it's just a replica. Oh, it's on strings. Yeah, I'm a smart child, clearly. Clearly, I'm totally ready for being on my own out in the open world. What are you doing? Nidoran looks drawn to the Moonstone. That's a nice touch. Yes, I know, I know, I know you're going to want a new Moonstone. I know you need one to evolve, and I appreciate you telling me that, Nidoran. Okay, appreciate that actually. I really do. If I was the Nooblet and I didn't know that, that'd be really nice to know. Uh, they should really have adjusted this to be more accurate to like the Pokemon's thing, the Pokemon world, and uh, the way its universe looks. Because I'm pretty sure it does not look that similar to ours. I, mean, I don't think it's that different, but I don't think it's that similar, right? Alright. Ah, my eyeball. What just- Oh. Oh, my eyes burning for some reason. Oh. Ow. My allergies are kicking my butt, too. Should've taken some allergy meds before I sat down to do this. Okay, Pokemon Gym! Let's go! Let's do it! Boy, this looks so nice, dude. Hiya! You're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I'm- <laughs> I'm not a trainer. But I can tell you- I can tell if you're worthy of challenging the gym. Now let's get started. The Pewter City Gym only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types that have the advantage against rock, uh, gym leaders rock type Pokemon. But for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have we have them use either grass or water type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. I have a grass type. I have Oddish. Wow, great. Uh, that Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and aim to become the Pokemon Champion! Yay! Oddish. I didn't actually think to even check this. I feel like he should. Um, he should have a grass type move, I feel like. How do I check moves? Um, more details? Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, we do have, we do have, we have absorb, okay. Good, 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 that's what I wanted to see, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, moving along, come on, Adish. You're about to get some levels, my dude. This is the Pewter City Gym. Uh, th this is the Pewter City Gym. Janets have a, a bit different, a bit different from those things so far. Ah! <laughs> oh my, is that so? Amara. Amara. Oh, trainer Amara. Camper Amara. Go, Oddish! I love how the background, we're actually inside of the gym. That's so, that's so nice. That's such a nice touch, dude. That was a nice and oko. Okay, quad effective. Quad effective special attack from the Oddish. Doing the big damn! It's doing all the work! Ah. Uh. This is good. This is this is good. This 
This this is good. Hello, you're light years from facing our our advanced trainer Brock, gym leader Brock, camper Liam. He's like ready. He's like he's holding his clutch in his pokeball. He's ready to just backhand it across the field. He's ready. He's ready to go. All right, Oddish. I want I want you to Oko this guy as well. He's only three levels beneath you, but you can do it. I believe. Look at this man. Whose man's is this? I need to figure out how to transfer Pokemon. That'd be really neat to use some of my Pokemon, my Pokemon Go Pokemon up in here. That's actually a question that I would like to answer for myself. I'll, I'll do that between episodes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now. But I want to figure out which Pokemon would be really good for me to transfer over that we can actually use in this series. That'd be really neat. That'd be really, really neat. <clears throat> I can't do Brock's voice. So what are we gonna do instead? Um, So, you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by... Is that a joke? Is that a joke? He said you can see. This man's can't see. Look, his eyes are closed. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a bad joke that I like. I gave myself a pity laugh. Ugh. Ugh, pain. Okay. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how hard, how rock hard my willpower is. Is that your willpower that I'm looking at, or...? <laughs> Is that willpower in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <clears throat> my, my Pokemon are all hard as rock. And have true grit determination. Stop making, stop making hard penis jokes, please. Uh, that's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. Fwahaha! You're going to challenge me even knowing you'll lose? Ha, that's what the trainer's honor demands. So be it, show me your best! Yeah! Fusion! <laughs> I know that's not quite how that goes, but hey man, whatever. It's what it made, what it made me think of, okay? Don't at me. Look at that. Sprite, though. Jim Leader Brock and he is Geo. Geo dudes. Alright, let's get uh let's get an absorb up in here. When we're actually one level beneath this guy. This Geo dude fellow. It's still a quad effective Oko. Could you even make it like a little bit challenging for me, game? Just a little bit maybe? My mic is all kinds of whacked up, dude. It just doesn't It doesn't hold flat for some reason. And it, and it bugs me. It makes me nervous it's gonna it's gonna fall or something. I'm gonna do that. Now we're staying in Oddish. Oddish, you have not failed me yet, my guy. You don't need to go anywhere. Level 12. He's so big! He's so big! I love that that's actually like... Like, like close to, to the actual size, comparatively. Like... Compared to Brock, I think that's the actual size. Compared to Oddish, Oddish looks a little bit tall to be. Maybe it's just the camera angle, though. It's probably just the camera angle. Oddish grew to level 11. Nice job, Oddish. You're doing good things. You just swept this gym. <laughs> it seems I underestimated you. Here's 1,920 Poké Dollars. Which is actually, like, what? 20 bucks? IRL? Um... <clears throat> As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge, a Boulder badge. Nice. I like that animation. That's that's good. I, that's good. I like that. I appreciate that. Let's go. I, I, I do. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that. I like that. I appreciate that. You got a Boulder badge from Brock. With a Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question oh and wait take this with you too TM for headbutt nice if you use a TM or a technical machine you can teach your Pokemon the move within it a TM can be used as many times as you like so use it on any Pokemon you want TM oh TM01 is that what this is? contains headbutt it deals damage to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them with a head as hard as rock Wait. 
Yay, Pikachu! Yellow is gazing happily at your sparkling new gym badge. Thanks, Pikachu, even though you didn't do anything. I'm glad you're a good support. You're a good support, Mon. You've done good things. Oh, I can rub you through your hat? That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Immersion ruined. Immersion ruined. Um, okay, so wait, hold on. Can we actually, uh... How do I see my... That's not what I wanted. How do I see my badges and stuff? My trainer badge. My trainer... My trainer thing. Where's my trainer thing? Is that it? You just have to go to save? Whatever. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I just want to see how I want to see how the badges look. <laughs> Whatever. I don't have badges in the layout, dude. I just realized that. You know what? We also never did a quick team recap. I, I you know what? The series has been so all over the place. I've not getting. I'm not gotten into. Uh, you know what? We don't have. We don't even have a layout for the series technically. I could, I suppose I could do some some editing magic and put the layout or put the uh, badges on the tail. Up, like the to the tail right here, the Pikachu tail. It could be neat. I don't know. Figure that out later. Hey there, newbie. Oh, that's actually. Oh, okay. Hold on. Mm. Don't tell me <laughs> you've got to be Jace, right? Uh, I am. That's amazing. <laughs> I knew it. I'm always right. I'm blue. I heard from my Gramps that two new kids set out from Palatown to become trainers. So I, just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym uh, from an extra trainer like me, but looks like I showed up too late, huh? <laughs> so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. Five great balls from Blue. Neato. Those will be even better for catching Pokemon that play than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you've got there, that's Pokedex, right? So Gams finally went on and made one. He used to make me and he used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. You, you better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he's still my Gramps. Smell you later, newbie. Can that guy? Can I have him as my rival again, please? I want to have him as my rival now, right now. Right now, there's a Pokeball I never got. Let's see what's in that Pokeball. Come here, Oddish. Let's go. Let's see what's in this Pokeball. I can walk through these bushes. I didn't know that. For some reason I thought they were, they were hard, like, like, a solid surface. Could walk through it. I don't know why I thought that. I guess I just assumed that you know, just, just like every other Pokemon game ever, the bushes could not be walked through. Whatever, man. N Nidoran, sit. It's not listening because you didn't call it Nidoran male. We got our Pokemon in a trade, so it's f so it's finicky and hard to handle. Pokemon that you get from trades grow faster, but they won't listen to a weak trainer in battle. If only we had some gym badges. If only we had a gym. If only we could have walked two doors down and battled the gym. Your Nidoran's got to be a decent level if it's not listening to you. It's got to be what? At least, at least level ten. At least level 10. Well, I guess that's not a decent level. It's gotta be at least level 10, though, right? What does this guy want? Hmm. Interesting. I wanna check for items, though. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I knew what I was doing. Three Pokeballs. Neato. Do you wanna battle? You do? You do? Excuse me, you, lo you looked at me, didn't you? No. No, I did not, but. Looking at you now. <laughs> Last Janus. With an Oddish. 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 Alright. Odd Oddish v. Oddish. You're level 6 though. I have Acid. Oh, that's actually doing over half. Nice. Neato. That did like 1 damage. That was a critical hit too. Okay, Oddish. Your Oddish is garbage, kid. I want you to know that. Just, you know, by the way, your garbage is Oddish. What? 
<laughs> that was almost that almost made sense. Uh, you got you mean. I'm not mean. I'm just better than you. All right, hold on, Mike. I'm still trying to like perfect my setup for this for this whole gameplay experience. Oh, you're a new trainer. Yeah, I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. <laughs> we coach trainers are strong, so if I do say so myself, if you want to try out our, our strength, you should definitely battle us. Mm, Otter Shoop, you're good to go, right? Let's go. Let's just do this. You look like someone who wants to try out your own strength. Do you want to have a Pokemon battle with me, a coach trainer? Okay, here I come. Okay. You have a Bulbasaur? I'm Jelly! I am Jelly! Hi, Jelly, I'm Dad. Wow. Nah, I just get- I just- I did my- I- I- uh, I have to do my own dad jokes, dude. When am I gonna get a co-op going on? Come on, we need to figure that out soon. Alright, hit him with that growth, raising my attack and special attack. We're taking these tackles like they're nothing. We are an odd little ball of joy. We're gonna hit him with that acid right in his little bulb of nose. Still doing, still doing about the same amount of damage. Seems like we wasted a turn. It seems like we've wasted our turns. Ah, my freaking headphones aren't sitting proper. That's too tight. That's too tight. Let's try this. Let's try this again. Try this again. There we go. A little bit better. Now this is this is kind of angled down. It's kind of weird. Don't know why that was angled down. I'm like I'm like live editing, dude. I'm just trying to adjust things so that it's all feeling good and feeling right. Quick attack from who? Pidgey. All right. Quick tackle. Why would I? Why would I ever click tackle if I have quick attack? It's the same amount of damage and quick attack's priority. So whatever. Metapod level eight. Metapod and Kakuna. Once they evolve, I I might pick one to keep on the team for a little while. Um, whichever one's looking best at the time, I suppose. I feel like we could maybe use. Uh, Beetle's gonna have better attack damage. Um, Butterfree is gonna have like sleep powder and stun stun powder, stun spore. Whatever that move is called, I can't think of the move name right now. They're, they're all gonna have their perks. They're all gonna have their perks. Of course, eventually, eventually we'll have Stun Spore and Poison Powder. And s I don't know if we get Sleep Powder, but we get Stun Spore and Poison Powder on um, Oddish, so. I don't know if that's really... I think Beedrill, Beedrill's in the lead, I think, right now. Beedrill's in the lead. Plus, I've never actually used a Beedrill in a Kanto playthrough. I have used a Butterfree. For, like, most of the playthrough. Not the whole thing, obviously. Up until, like, the fourth gym, the bug types can be useful. The third or fourth gym. After that, they're kind of, uh... Actually, the fourth gym's probably pushing it. After, after the third gym is when you probably would want to get rid of them. Spiro? I have an Oddish. This isn't fair. Although, I can still acid you. And you're gonna have what? Growl and Tackle? You're level 6. Why did that do so much damage? I was expecting 2 hits. What is Acid's base damage now? What is... What is Oddish's base damage? Dude, he's like... He's oko everything. Hi. You want to battle as well? Well, let's see what you got, kiddo. Do, 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 do. Camper Victor wants to battle. He has a Nidoran and melee. Ah, 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 no. He has the Nidoran. I didn't rhyme. I was going to rhyme, oh no, with Nidorino, but um, it wasn't Nidorino, it was a Nidoran. So it's kind of ruined it. 
Totally ruined it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. Soiled it. I, I, PG, PG. PG hasn't even seen battle yet. Let's send him in here. He's got a gust. Why do I have a hair? I had a hair tickling the inside of my... Tickling me from the inside of my shirt. That was weird. That was weird. Alright. Go for the gust. Okay. Okay, that did some damage. Did some damage. Let's go for the quick attack. See which... That was a sand attack. Close. Close. It, it had attack in the name. Uh, I can see you could have gotten confused there, Pidgey. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. We'll be okay, right? 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 <laughs> right, Pidgey? Talk to me, Pidgey! I don't know what I'm doing, Vin. I'm like, I'm kind of tired and also totally not tired. Like, I feel fully rested, but I woke up earlier than I normally would by a few hours today. Um, which is not a good thing, let me just tell you. I woke up 9.30 this morning, which is about 4 or 5 hours before I would normally wake up. My sleep schedule my sleep schedule is all over the place. It's terrible. Terrible. Um, but I woke up early, early compared to my normal wake-up time today, which put my body kind of all off kilter. Like, I feel tired even though I'm fully rested and totally, totally don't need sleep. But I feel like I could lay down right now and just pass out. And I probably could. But I shouldn't, and I don't need to. I got a full night's rest. I, w I wouldn't just sleep. I wouldn't just sleep at what? Like, now 1.30 or 2? 1.30 or 2? Close close to about there. And, oh look, there's Poison Powder. I was just talking about you. Um, and woke up like 9.30. That's a, that's a decent nice sleep. I don't know if it's a full eight hours. Like, you know, quick math, but... It's, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. So I definitely don't need sleep. That's for sure. That much I know. That much I'm aware of. Thundershock. How much are you doing? Come on. Come on. Show me that. Show me that tasty Thundershock. That was not a lot. I mean, it was a lot, but well, not a lot. I was expecting pretty close to an Oko. Enough for a quick attack to be a valuable, a valid option. I don't know what valuable means. That's not a word. Nice and level 32. Alright. I'm gonna catch Sandshrew. Alright. Fish! Mmm! Excellent throw. Tasty! Give me that experience. Give me that Pokemon and the experience. Yay. We caught a Sandshrew! Bonus multiplier. Nice and 24 experience from that capture for everyone. Sandshrew's data has been added to Pokedex. Do we add Sandshrew to the team though? That be the question. I don't I didn't even know Sandshrew was available over here. There's a tiny one. Look at him go, dude. Look at him go, there's another one. I haven't caught you yet, have I? Have I caught a have I caught a Spearow? Maybe. This one's huge though. And that's excellent. Uh, an excellent catch, which is a little bit of boosted experience. So I'll take it. You caught a Spiro. And there's Pikachu and Kakuna leveling up. Pikachu wants to learn double team. Sure. Forget Growl. That's that's fine. That's fine. Kakuna grew to level nine. Nito. Uh, mm. I feel like I caught one. Now I'm thinking about it. Mm. Cause I mean, it, yeah, I definitely did. Yeah, I'm level four one right there. This one's level five though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Spiro. I'm sorry, Spiro. It's a quick candy. Cool. Nito. We'll get plenty of EV candies from catching a lot of Pokemon. That's awesome, dude. 
I like- oh, hello, item. A lure! I'm pretty sure that there's a rare encounter of Trimander over here in the cave, so I'm gonna hold on to that lure. How do we dodge- oh, we dodge that kid? He does not want to battle. Okay, this kid wants to battle. How you doing? Are you a trainer? Let's get in it right away. Okay. Bug catcher Greg. Since I Kakuna. We're still leading with Oddish. Probably not our best strats. Yeah, it's going to Pidgey. Nice and stab Gustin for this Kakuna. What is he gonna do? Harden. Maybe tackle. He could sell Poison Sting. Look, I told you. I told you! Poison Sting. You doubted me. I don't know. You some of you might have. In which case, I say on to you dudes. Lull. <laughs> no, you won! Give me here, take these Pokeballs. <laughs> Alright, I want to battle that kid, but I also don't at the same time. What you got there, Oddish? A raspberry? Oh my! Alright, uh, let me actually... And... I'll let Pidgey follow us for a little bit. Just, just for the heck of it. Hey, Pidgey, my guy. Yo, a Mankey. Yo, a Mankey. Our team's gonna fill out pretty nice here, I think. Oh, that was a little bit of an early throw. Ugh. Oh, good, we're gonna have a try. Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> What? Okay. Alright, Mikey. Stop with your shenanigans. There we go. There we go, Mikey. Nice, and let's level up for Pidgey. What level has Pidgey evolved? 15? 16? I think it's 15 or 16. An agile Pokemon that lives in trees. It anchors easily and will not hesitate to attack anything, I think is what it said. Give me that item. Nice and revive. I see you. Whoa, Mankey. Jesus, dude. Just full on sprinted at me. Ooh, just taking a little rest here. That tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Do it now. Hey, look, another trainer. Multiple trainers. We'll battle in the next episode. I'm just gonna heal up and then wrap up the episode. That's my plan. That's my plan, Stan. Would you have a lure? I definitely want to use that in the cave, though. I think, because I'm like 90% sure that we can get. <gasps> um. Charmander in the cave, which I would really would love to have. But our team's filling out nice. I'm gonna hold on to uh, Kakuna and Metapod until they evolve, I think, just to get those, just get them in the Pokedex. Actually, Metapod could get out now. We did catch that Butterfree. We did catch that Butterfree. So Metapod could go now, honestly. Uh, remove from party. And we'll put. We'll put Mankey on the team. Sure. Then we'll wait for Kakuna to evolve, and then we'll swap him out for Sandshrew. And there's those chillax for now. They'll chillax in the back of the party until we get uh get things figured out. How you doing, Pidgey? Nino! Good episode! Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like for me down below. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you are new around here and share this video with a friend. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Peace.